visibility. Today, let us revise and learn few more divisibility tests. A number is divisible by another number if the conditions required are met. Let us understand these conditions better with examples. Divisibility by 2 If the number is even, that is, it ends in 2, 4, 6, 8 or 0, we say that the given number is divisible by 2. For example, 26 ends in 6. Thus, it is divisible by 2. Divisibility by 3 If the sum of the digits of the number is divisible by 3, we say that the given number is divisible by 3. For example, look at the number 384. When we add up all the digits, that is 3 plus 8 plus 4, we get the sum as 15. We know that 15 is divisible by 3. Thus, we conclude that 384 is divisible by 3. Divisibility by 4 If the number formed by the last two digits of the given number is divisible by 4, we say that the given number is divisible by 4. For example, look at the number 164. Its last two digits form the number 64, which is divisible by 4. Thus, the whole number 164 is divisible by 4. Divisibility by 5 if the number ends in 5 or 0, we say that the given number is divisible by 5. For example, 525 ends in 5. Thus, it is divisible by 5. Look at this another example. 330 ends in 0. Hence, it is also divisible by 5. Divisibility by 6 If the number is divisible by both 2 and 3, we say that the given number is divisible by 6. For example, look at the number 408. Is it divisible by 2? The number ends in 8. Thus, it is divisible by 2. Is it divisible by 3? 4 plus 0 plus 8 is equal to 12, which is divisible by 3, which makes the number 408 divisible by 3 as well. Hence, 408 is divisible by 6. Divisibility by 7 Take the last digit of the number, double and subtract it from the rest of the digits. If the difference is divisible by 7, then the number is divisible by 7. For example, look at the number 672. Firstly, double the last digit 2, that is 2 plus 2 is equal to 4. Now, subtract 4 from 67, so we get 63. Here, the number 63 is divisible by 7. Thus, we say 672 is divisible by 
7. Kids, repeat the process for larger numbers. For example, let us take a larger number, 3934. Double the last digit 4 to get 8 and subtract it from 393, which is 385. Now again, double 5 to get 10 and subtract it from 38, which is equal to 28. We know that 28 is divisible by 7. So, the number 3934 is divisible by 7. Divisibility by 8 If the number formed by the last three digits of the given number is divisible by 8, we say that the given number is divisible by 8. For example, look at the number 53,888. Its last three digits form the number 888, which is divisible by 8. Thus, 53,888 is divisible by 8. Divisibility by 9 If the sum of the digits of the number is divisible by 9, we say that the given number is divisible by 9. For example, look at the number 7,29,639 Here, on adding the digits 7, 2, 9, 6, 3 and 9, we get the sum as 36, which is divisible by 9. Thus, 7,29,639 is also divisible by 9. Let us look at divisibility by 10. If the number ends in a 0, we say, that the given number is divisible by 10. For example, 8620 ends in 0. Thus, it is divisible by 10. Next is divisibility by 11. A number is divisible by 11 if the difference of the sums of the alternate digits is 0 or a multiple of 11. For example, look at number 3729. Here, by adding the alternate digits 7 and 9, we get the sum as 16. And 3 plus 2 is equal to 5. Now, the difference between the two sums, that is 16 minus 5, is equal to 11. Therefore, the number 3729 is divisible by 11. Let us take one more example. Number 4576. We add the digits 4 plus 7 to get 11. And 5 plus 6 gives 11. Here, the difference between the two sums is 0. Hence, the number 4576 is divisible by 11. Divisibility by 12 A number is divisible by 12 if it is divisible by both 3 and 
four. For example, look at the number four lakh seventy nine thousand six hundred twenty eight. Here, by adding the digits four plus seven plus nine plus six plus two plus eight, we get the sum as thirty six. Thirty six is divisible by three. Thus, we say four lakh seventy nine thousand six hundred twenty eight is divisible by three. And the last two digits form the number twenty eight, which is divisible by four. Thus, we say four lakh seventy nine thousand six hundred twenty eight is divisible by four also. Therefore, four lakh seventy nine thousand six hundred twenty eight is divisible by twelve. Lastly, divisibility by fifteen. A number is divisible by fifteen if it is divisible by both three and five. For example, look at the number five lakh sixty thousand nine hundred fifty-five. Here, by adding the digits five plus six plus zero plus nine. Plus five, plus five, we get the sum as thirty. Thirty is divisible by three. Therefore, we say five lakh sixty thousand nine hundred fifty-five is divisible by three. Also, the number ends in five. Thus, five lakh sixty thousand nine hundred fifty-five is even divisible by five. Hence, five lakh sixty thousand nine hundred fifty-five is divisible by fifteen. Kids, now you can use these divisibility tests. While dividing numbers.